Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Bethany. Here on my channel you can find all things homemaking. Today's video I am sharing with you three budget friendly meal ideas. Hopefully this video will give you some inspiration for some new meals you can try for your family. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. So for the first dinner of this week, we are doing jambalaya. This is one of our favorite meals and it is packed full of protein. It is super delicious and has quite a few ingredients, but is also budget friendly. This meal comes in right at about $12, um, just depending on the price of meat where you are. But I use one chicken breast and I got a pack of two chicken breasts for three dollars and forty cents so it was about about probably a dollar eighty dollar ninety per chicken breast and then the shrimp bag that i got was five dollars but i only used a half a cup out of that bag so i can get another two meals out of that and then the smoked sausage was only a dollar and I had pasta on hand. You can use any pasta for this dish that you prefer, but I just go ahead and cook the bell pepper and onion and a little bit of olive oil and Cajun seasoning until that is soft. I remove that from the pan and then I add in my chicken and shrimp. Let that cook through with some olive oil and once that's cooked through, then I add the smoked sausage and the peppers and onions back in. Let that saute some more together while my pasta is boiling. Then I will go ahead and take a can of tomato sauce, add this to the skillet as well as a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and give that a good stir and just let that come up to a slow boil and simmer while the pasta is getting done. You can use any pasta you like for this dish. We use penne pasta, but you can use egg noodles, elbow noodles. You can use anything that you like, whatever your favorite noodle is. It will be delicious in this dish. But once the pasta is done, you can give everything one good stir together and you are ready to serve it. And this dish can be a little bit more on the spicy side if you want to add more Cajun seasoning, or you can make it a little less spicy. We do about a half a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning because our children do eat this as well, but we absolutely love it. It's the perfect spiciness for us, and it's just a really delicious kind of different dish for the week to change it up from the normal things, but this is what it looks like when it's done. It is just so delightful, so if you guys try this one, please let me know what you think of it down in the comments. It has been a staple in our house for about five years now. We absolutely love it. Our next meal, this one is going to be really easy. Just throw in the crock pot. I got these home style meatballs and we're going to use about half of this bag in the crock pot as well as the Sweet Baby Ray's Hawaiian barbecue sauce. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the meatballs in the crock pot, pour about half of the barbecue sauce over that, and then I'm going to cook, let them cook on high for about four hours and then they're going to be ready to serve. We ended up making these with some mashed potatoes and some cheesy peas and it was absolutely delicious these meatballs were something we're definitely going to have again that hawaiian barbecue sauce was so so delightful definitely try it if you like a more sweeter barbecue sauce it was so so good but this meal is budget friendly you could use instant mashed potatoes if that's what you have on hand or you can use regular potatoes and mash them up but either way, this meal is super budget friendly, but yet super delicious. I'm 
So the next meal on our list is going to be chicken parmesan casserole as well as some broccoli casserole. So I just went ahead and chopped up a chicken breast. This is the other half of the chicken breast from the jambalaya skillet. So I already had this on hand and I'm going to toss that into the flour mixture, into egg mixture, and then into my breadcrumbs. Put that in the air fryer at 385 for about 12 minutes. While that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of my box of penne pasta, get that boiling, and then I'm going to make the broccoli casserole. A lot of this stuff I already had on hand in my pantry or in my freezer, but this is another budget-friendly meal that's a little bit different than your traditional meals during the week. It's super flavorful, super delicious, and does not break the bank, and so I'm really hoping to share more of these on my channel if you like videos like this. I think it's fun to come up with different creative recipes for the week so it doesn't seem like we're eating the same thing every single week, just in a different rotation, and to try new recipes but like I mentioned, items that don't break the bank because we know with rising food prices, it is so hard to not overspend at the grocery store nowadays. And so I also like to be mindful when I'm shopping to get items that I can use for multiple recipes like this block of the cheesy melt cheese. I can use this for so many recipes. So when I get that, I kind of plan some meals that this can go with, whether we have breakfast and we put it on our eggs to make cheesy eggs or like this making a broccoli cheese casserole or like you've seen in the last recipe cheesy peas there's just so many uses for it it's really good in potato soup just many things so that's kind of one thing i like to do when i'm shopping is to get ingredients that i can use in other recipes and kind of go from there but I'll let you go ahead and see how I'm making this and I just hope that you guys get some inspiration from this video and if you try any of these please let me know down in the comments if you like them or not I would love to hear from you. Now that the pasta is done and the broccoli casserole is all made, I just go ahead and pour my pasta sauce over the noodles, add in my chicken, give it a good stir, and then I am topping this with a little bit of Parmesan cheese that I had left over in the fridge, as well as some mozzarella cheese, and that just gives it a super good flavor, and all that cheese on the top just top this dish off so much. So I'm going to go ahead and add that up there, put them both in the oven for about 30 minutes at 385 to cook brown on the top and heat through and these were just absolutely delicious my husband is not a big fan of casseroles but he absolutely loved this one and so it is definitely something i will continue to make especially on those days where it's chilly or rainy and you just want a good comfort meal this is one of those definitely go-to meals for times like that As always thank you so much for joining me on another video if you're in need of prayer please leave it down in the comments i'd love to say a prayer for you if you try any of these recipes i would love to hear from you in the comments what you thought about them but until i see you in the next one i hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day bye y'all